will lord and save us. If Fauzi piss, picks Gold Lewis, then Milia is, that, to Gold Lewis pipeline is confirmed. That would be true. I mean, it does kind of make sense, because Gold Lewis overall uh, probably a stronger character than Milia. Uh, definitely a stronger character than Milia. It's Gold Lewis in Season 3 of Strive. Uh, but they also have, you know, they got this mixture. All right, so it makes sense. They got the offense. They got the terrifying offense. And right now, I mean, we see we see a little bit of chip damage, and we see a lead on Melia's side. So it makes sense that it's it's, it's been 30 seconds. It's it's been uh, uh, 30 seconds longer now. It was going to start saying this, and no one is dead yet. This is what I mean. Where Melia's holding her own. It's it's like this is like three games. This is like three ABBA Slayer matchups right now. We could be done. We saw a three O of like you know uh, uh, an ABBA and a Slayer or like two Slayers or something. It would be over by now. That's what I'm saying. It'd be done. We'd be wrapping we'd be wrapping it up. We'd be calling the next uh, the next pair. Instead, uh, Milia flies around a lot and time like actually. Passes. Guppy, I will. Uh, I will do my best, but also I will not try at all. Um, also, I will expend no effort and uh, adjust literally nothing that I say and do, because at the end of the day, I just don't care. Um, which I promise, in context, if you could see what Guppy Fish had said, it's much less rude than it sounds. Uh, I, just, I just don't. I just don't. I don't. I don't got the time or the energy, man. I don't give a shit. If if, if, if internet people are going to be displeased with the with the things that I say, then that's that's their business. All right. If it's something, you know, if it's something that I'll stand by a week after I say it, I don't. I don't, I don't really give a shit. All right. The tied round count. Round count. Milia, kind of unsurprisingly, given the matchup, does get the first hit and the first set of combos. Burst, unfortunately, takes her out of her uh, her pressure, but right back into doing Milia things. And so far, knock on wood, has not suffered a single hit. Still continuing to apply that consistent and, uh, you know, I don't know, the consistent pressure. I wanted a second adjective really bad, Chuck. I really did. But it turns out I didn't have a uh, second, second adjective money. I could not afford. I put two adjectives on the the, the countertop in front of the cashier. They said there'll be forty dollars. I said forty for two adjectives. What the fuck? And they said inflation. So I only bought one. Um, the joke's on you, though. Actually, adjectives are more expensive because the adjective company realized people will pay more if they force them to. It's not actually devaluation of the U.S. currency. It's just a raising. Yo, any judges, any judges in chat? Rating with a party of 10, hello and welcome. We are watching Guilted Gear Strive. Currently we are watching Warm Rock Fauzi keeping the sun up for, I believe, eight turns instead of five versus Scum Naya. That's also gonna be Milia in the same order. Milia versus Potemkin. Currently Fauzi is up 1-0. Uh, I was just remarking about how this is the, one of these games is going as long as like one of the ABBA, like the entire ABBA Slayer set that we observed pri prior to this. Because while Milia do be cooking, and I mean she be cooking, it's not Slayer damage. It's not, it's not ABBA damage, okay? And it is Potemkin health. Naya, so far, not looking like they're having a terribly good time. There was a lot of back and forth in that first game, don't be wrong. There's definitely a lot of back and forth in that first game. But that that first round of this game, very uh, commanding on the part of Warmrock Fauzi. As if hearing me, however, the punish Potemkin Buster in that, it, I was about to say that a second Potemkin Buster would be death because blah, 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 damage numbers, and then they just did it. Uh, and then he just let it rip. And now uh, it, it's, it did, it killed. It's lo and behold. The thing I was about to say would kill, would kill. We don't see a punish on the Mega Fist. I hate Mega Fist. I hate it more every time I see it happen and not get punished. We do see the super wall break from Naya's Potemkin. And Potemkin do be doing a little bit of mixing. Never mind. 
We're done with that. Uh, mixing has been canceled in favor of YRC. Mixing has we had to we had to move the mixing that we had scheduled for ten uh, because we had to pencil a YRC in at that time. So we're gonna yo, what's up, any judges? What's up? Um, I hope you're having an awesome night. Potentially even, I don't, I don't want to go too far, but potentially even an awesome week. In fact, those of you in chat, I hope you're all having an awesome. You know what? I'm gonna do it. An awesome week, including, but not limited, to tonight. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I have no regard for propriety or the law. We're seeing 1-1, one, one, uh, Fauzi versus Naya. Uh, Naya able to tie it up there. Signs of life, signs of a very good conflict. Too cautious. And you know what, that's not too bad. That's not too bad of a position. You know, you got a lot of damage. Sure, your launch combo got burst out of, but the, the, the Milia doesn't get to knock you down because of the burst. So you know what? You know what, chat, we take those. We take those. It's still an unambiguously a favorable trade, as honestly it should be if you get the charged 5D on someone. As it should be. And the big buttons coming out from Temkin, challenging the maneuverability options Milia wants to take, closing out the round. Just forcing Milia to spend life if she wants to get the ball rolling, which is not something Milia can afford to do in this matchup. You can't be spending life to get in. Million now finding cleaner ways in, fighting that looping pressure that Million needs. The burst frees Potemkin, frees him from the blender, stops him from going into the smoothie. But, like, I mean, it's still, it's still, I mean, come on. Sure, sure, you're out of the four way mix. Hold this two way mix into death. Into fucking death. Sure, you can come out of the blender. What's that? It's a food processor. Get in. The round count is now tied. Managing to get some kind of force a block with the white the white wild stuff, but not really getting terribly much off of it. And now Melia continuing to do her shit. She's gonna do her stuff. She's gonna do her stuff. And I know she don't do no slayer damage, but she doesn't do any uh, pre-season three Melia damage either. All right, she is hitting. Oh my God, it hurts. It, every time I see a, go, a, a goddamn PRC into a Potemkin buster, it physically hurts me in real life. Because it's always Potemkin practically teleports across the screen. You're not ready to jump. He's all the way over there. He's all the way over there. He's, he's, a, he's, he's over in California. You're in New York. You don't expect the intercontinental ballistic missile. That, that was taken out for Strive. He hasn't had that since Exert. What's going on? And Naya taking a second game, a second game that is also two in a row. We'll see if Naya can close it out. Also, completely unrelated, but I just want to say again, the the Christmas stage, the like, I don't know, Alaska Christmas stage. Oh my God, I love it. Look at it, it's so cozy. It looks so warm. It's objectively cold. But the light is so warm. There's Christmas lights. They got like hot chocolate and stuff. Oh my God, I want to live here. Can I please, can I please? I can deal with the cold and with the dragon flying through the air. I can deal with it, okay? I'll pack some winter clothes. It's just so cute. Slayer brought Christmas. He did. He brought Christmas. He has, in fact, cheap stakes. In few, he, he, the stage is Holly and Jolly. Uh, Slayer has brought the holliness and the jolliness. The Christmas spirit is with us. Uh, the life bar is not with uh, Naya as Fauzi takes round one, being able to run her her Milia offense and this mixture as it uh, sees fit and as Milia must. And listen, no one cares, Potemkin, about your armor. No one cares about your hit of armor. Nobody, it is not anybody's priority because Amelia can fly. She can just fly. She has wings, she can fly, it's canon. Don't question me. Uh, and so that means she doesn't have to land and get hit by the slide head. It just doesn't happen. It simply does not transpire. And because of this, because of this technology and interaction, we see uh, uh, Potemkin very much struggling at very much of a life deficit, but we've seen, we've seen Naya 
closed these out before. We've uh, many a round. I've been looking at the screen like it's looking rough. It's looking rough for Team Naya, and and then, and then he pulls it out. And then because he, he gets a couple of big hits, you gotta you gotta look out for the burst here. Burst. Well, okay, you look out for the burst. You know what? I can't hate. Like, hey, you gotta look out for the burst. And I went, you know what looks out for a burst? A throw. A, a command throw, in fact, will both kill and be unburstable. Fair play. Fair play to Naya. And once again, Naya clawing victory from the jaws of defeat, bringing it to round three. This is what it looked like last game. This is what it looked like the game before that. Can Fauzi stop history from repeating itself again? Or will she be exiting the bracket after this game? And will I still be on solo commentary? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Uh, or in, I mean, in like, at most a minute. Uh, in, within the next 60 seconds, we will know whether this game means that I will be on solo comms uh, or, or whether Fauzi remains alive. Right now, Things are looking scary if you're Fauzi. The PRC does allow us to escape, and I'm not gonna lie, I PRC'd into getting thrown back. I don't know about you, but I, I PRC'd and then I was like, surely I can hit a butt, and then got thrown. Fauzi though, built different, uh, jumps like you should, and managed to get some, some pressure going. This should be the end of the Temkin for this game. We will be going into a game five. Naya, obviously kinda, <laughs> It kind of like a okay, you, you got it. You got to laugh about that kind of a position is what it, what it seems to be, you know. Kind of the the release of tension, if you know what I mean. The release of the tension of the round and Fauzi continuing to showcase the very strong offensive tools of Milia. Unfortunately, gets burst into the corner, which is just tragic. Has to spend a burst to get out of it. But you know what? That's an even trade, relatively. You lose pressure, but that's about it. So. And now, the Potemkin Mint cannot keep getting away with it. They can, I don't care where on the tier list their character is. The oppression of PRC into Command Throw must not continue. This is wrong. At some point, you have to be willing to stand up and say this is wrong. Also, Naya taking that round, potentially on match point here. Fauzi fighting for its uh, tournament life right now. If she is not able to take this round, she will be uh, deleted. <laughs> I was about to say deleted. Please do not delete any contestants. She will be eliminated. Not deleted. No, no one is committing murder, I hope. However, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of a moot point because with some very well constructed melee offense, Warm Rock Fauzi is able to keep the, the is able to get enough damage off of the sunny day solar beams and uh, uh, seal out the round. And yes, I say sunny day solar beams because I am a grass type girly, uh, grass type gang, grass type gang. Not flamethrowers, not fire blasts. Fuck that noise. We're going, we're going uh, sunny day, solar beam. I'm aware this means I can be hit by sun boost and super effective damage. I just don't care. A really good jump out, a call out on that Potemkin Buster that if it had hit, could have spelled basically curtains, probably wouldn't have killed, but pretty much would have been it. And now Milia gets to do whatever she wants. We see the hard knockdown Potemkin uh, if you recall, does not have a reversal super, just has YRC. The YRC does get us back into neutral, which is kind of cold comfort, but with the help that Milia is at, the heart rate has got to be high. The blood pressure has got to be high. This set is close to being closed out one way or the other. The, the RC simply exits the Garuda pressure, but one solid hit from Potemkin is enough to combo into death for Milia and a 3-2 in Naya's favor. Sorry.